Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Optimize for a slicker, more focused layouts. We will guide you through the process of removing the sidebar from your WordPress site. Perfect for those who prioritize a minimalist design aesthetic. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, in case you are looking to have such a website that looks like that, without any sidebars, without anything, and looks pretty much aesthetic and at the same time pretty simple, this video is pretty much for you. So to remove a sidebar, we have different ways to actually do so. Well, one of the many ways that I like to do are perfectly to look for a theme that doesn't have a sidebar for example this theme that i'm using currently doesn't actually have any sidebar as a widget doesn't own any sidebars here or there so it's just a simple website that is going all the way from the top to the bottom with all of different layout that it has so basically what i do usually in case i would like to do so uh I will just go to the themes and then I will add a new theme by clicking on this button and basically I will search for a theme that doesn't have really a sidebar so for example this one doesn't have a sidebar this one as well this one as well this one as well this one as well this one has a sidebar uh, this one doesn't have this one doesn't have so many of them doesn't really own any sidebars this one actually has a sidebar and so this is like the step number one, which is the method number one that I'm using, which is not actually having a theme that owns a sidebar in the first place. So now for the method number two, let's install this uh, theme as an example. And we are going to take it as an example since it has a sidebar. So we're going to work on it. Here we go. Uh, start a site. Here we go. So now we just have to wait a little bit and they will simply just start changing my uh, website and import the starter site so here we go i have changed it and as you can see uh, at the moment it doesn't really have any sidebars so let's go here uh, in case we have added anything it might have it so let's go and add a page we need to add a random page so add a page um here we go let's wait and let's name it for example tutorial test so as you can see here, test and then publish. So here I'm going to view the page. And yeah, this is very not good because we have this space right here is made for the sidebar. So here let's go back. And in this page I'm going to add a post. So let's add here a new post which is going to be um, hello guys. And let's write something publish and publish let's view this post and now let's try to go to the home page so here we go we have this bar we have this so we have a lot of bars that are going on here and basically to remove any kind of bars not necessarily sidebar well you have different ways the first way which is by going to your theme uh, editor right here and you will find the widgets in this widget section you will normally find sidebar so here it goes so normally here it doesn't own anything so let's add something to the sidebar so i can show it to you guys um for example let's add this image all right let's update it and here i'm going to refresh it so here we have the sidebar right there so one method which is basically to remove everything from this sidebar so it doesn't really exist anymore so we can remove it like that and this sidebar will no longer exist so just like that we have deleted this sidebar from here now the other way that I'm using basically is pretty much easier than that here I can simply uh, by the way these ones are not removable so you can't remove them from your templates even if you tried so we can't really delete them permanently so let's say that we have this in here uh, let's add an image um, the same image that we have seen so pub update so let's say that we have this image here and we couldn't really remove it through the widget it's locked it can't really do anything about it so what should we do in that case well click simply on customize right through here and just wait until it opens make sure that your uh, WordPress website or templates actually have the access to additional CSS otherwise you will not be able to follow me in this tutorial and then click on F12 then 
uh, if you if 12 doesn't work for you, you can simply just click right and then look for inspect and click right on it and as you can see here just click on this arrow here and just hover over the sidebar itself as you can see this is the sidebar I'm just going to add here display and add none as you can see now copy the whole code and paste it right there click on publish and refresh the page and as you can see let's just wait a little bit as you can see it has been removed successfully so with that being said this is basically it now if you want for example to uh, remove this space at all you can simply add display none and it will be removed as well so just like that element style or the sidebar right is being removed we can here add sidebar none and just like that it has been removed so here also let's say that the size of this thing is not being the best for you you can for example either remove the padding or uh, add the padding we can um add the margin from the bottom you can i mean you can work on it through here you can literally keep changing these settings right here and after you do so as you can see here you can literally find the best options for you and then you just have to change them and just go ahead and paste them right here it's not really that difficult guys it's pretty easy you just have to get a little bit of knowledge as i said the keyword is display none to remove anything to make it disappear uh, it's not removed but it's just gonna be invisible then just go ahead and click on display none just add it to your code and it's gonna be invisible from the people to be able to see so this is an important thing to know as you can see i can switch between pages and it will not be appearing to me since i have made it to be invisible from everyone and any page that's gonna be invisible from it so the same thing that i have i have shown you here you can replicate it on any other team depending on if it has the active or the additional css that i am going to uh, that's I, I i showed you right that right before now so here it is as i said uh, it's gonna be always in the bottom additional css so you can work it out from here or if you are really really developed in that domain of coding etc well you can go to file or uh, theme file editor and simply just find the widget that you want to remove sidebar right here as you can see go ahead and click on it and simply just remove it right through here by adding some codes and working on it and yeah guys that was basically it for today's video if you do have any more questions make sure to leave it down below in the comment section i make sure to read all your comments thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial